Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you this really cool tool that creates brand books in less than 10 minutes. So from my experience, being a full-time brand designer, I always need to deliver a brand book. And the reason why we do this is because the brand needs to stay consistent. And number two, it helps the client implement the designs in the real world. Because at the end of the day, you can create this amazing design, an amazing logo and identity visual system. But at the end of the day, if the client changes things around and messes with it, then the brand can actually become dysfunctional or not consistent. And that can actually destroy the reputation. So we want to make sure that the brand's always consistent, that the brand is in line with how you designed it and how you envisioned it, because it's going to be very important for the long run of that brand to make sure that it's holding up to its brand promise. And I found this really cool tool that actually creates a brand book for you in less than 10 minutes. And they're sponsoring this video today, but I really want to share this with you because it's built for designers and it's made by designers, which is really cool. And I love the whole process because number one, it automates everything for you. It takes you through this cool little wizard where you can just drag and drop the logos, drag and drop your color palette, and it creates all the size proportions and all the other little bits and pieces that a brand book needs. Not only that, but it's professional. So it hits the market standards and it's just easy to use. And you can also send a link to your client at the end of it. So you can send a link and even export a PDF. So it's better than just sending it over email. And I think it's really cool because it shows it in a nice book form on the actual website. I'm gonna show you how to use it. We're gonna jump onto the website and let's start to create a brand book for one of my previous client projects. So once you load up Ginger Source, what you can actually do is actually create a new brand book. In this section here, the back end on your dashboard, you can look at your drafts, what you have in draft and also the official ones that you have posted already. I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new brand book. Then what I'm gonna do is start to name my brand. So for this one, I'm going to create Craft Whiskey Society, which is a logo I did for a small business a few years back. And I'm just gonna do CWS for the tag name. So this whole wizard is gonna take you through the whole process of creating this new brand book, and it's gonna make it really, really fast. So once you're happy with that, click Approve. Select, is it a product or a company? Is it a new brand or a rebrand? For this one, I'm doing a new brand, which is cool. And then what you wanna do is you wanna drag the SVG file, not a PNG or JPEG. Um, I'm, they might update it, but for now it's a SVG. So we just wanna drag the file in. And then you can see how the back actually changed the color, which is nice. And you can see it, it added my logo. You can see here, I can actually rename this if I want to, but I'm just gonna leave this as the master brand logo and slogan and click approve when you wanna move forward. So I can actually add an alternative logo. So maybe I just want like the uh, an icon or a different version. So I can add that in. So I'm just going to add this badge version as you can see, and I'm just gonna drop that in. And I can call this badge logo if I want or alternative logo. It's really up to me. Badge logo, cool. Approve. I can also add more logos or you can just click the skip button if you don't have it. So I'm gonna click skip. So now what you can do, you can actually click generate and it will try and get the colors from the logo itself and put them in here. It's not 100% accurate at the moment. So what I wanna do is actually start to add the hex codes in of my actual colors that I want and that I've created. So I'm just gonna add this in. Got my sand color here as well. So I'm just copying the hex codes, copying it in and hopefully it should be right. Beautiful, so those are the colors I want. I've got the main color and you know, you can move things around and edit things. But for now, I'm gonna use, just do it like that and click approve. So right now I can finalize the color. So you can see it's got the names. I can delete ones, I can pin ones. As you can see, pin my three main colors. And that's amazing. So I'm gonna press approve. So right now I can choose the logo variations, as you can see here. So it starts to generate different variations, which is interesting, with different backdrops. I can hide ones as well. But basically it gives us all the variations that the client could use it. So I'm gonna just continue and click next. You can also add a brand icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the icon by itself. So once again, drag and drop the SVG file and you can see I've got my icon there, main brand icon and click approve approve icon variations. You can see that there's nothing showing up so I can click reject or approve. So if I don't like it, I can click reject and you can see it's gonna do different shapes. That one I don't want, the gold. There should be any versions that you don't like, you can just click reject, that's fine. 
you can feature icons so if there is certain icons you can add that but i'm gonna skip and then you can choose different methods so i really like what they did here they got like Linguinado, so it gives you the proportions how you want it to be so this one's 3.2 x by um times x or whatever then you got michelangelo you've also got fibonacci sequence and the other ones right now those are those are widened out but typically i just go with the standard three to two point two ratio click approve you can choose a physical law for clear space. So this is the clear space around the logo. You can do Hawkins, Einstein, Pythagoras, Newton. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to use Newton for now. You can choose the cosmic calculation for your minimum size. So what is the minimum size you're willing to let your logo be at? I think, you know, anything probably lower than neutron is probably a bit small. But for me, I'm going to go with molecule and click approve. You want to make sure that it's always readable at small sizes, obviously. And then what you can do, you can approve logo misuses. So it will recommend you different um, use cases. And you can just approve or reject which ones you want. I typically approve all of them because I don't want the clients to like do any of that. You can also add your own misuses as well. But for me, I just like the ones they've already created. It just saves me time. And you can see the raster or vector image. This one, you can actually add JPEGs. But for now, I'm just going to skip. Then what we can do is actually add a primary font. So I'm just going to go search my files and see if I have a font from that client project. So what I can do is just drag the OTF file and it should add the font in there. So you can see I've dropped the font. I can add multiple ones of different weights if I want, but I've just added this one here. You can add the secondary font as well. So, you know, maybe you've got Monster Rat or something just like very, you know, basic that everyone uses. So what you have to do in this section, you just click on the image and then you can go and find a mock-up. So if I go to my fold folders, I need to find a small mock-up that is not too big. And I can just go double click and find a mock and it should load the mock-up in there, which is really cool. As you can see there, I can delete that one. I don't want that one. And this one, hopefully it's small enough, beautiful. And I'm going to click approve. And then it starts to ask you some of the questions about vision and brand values. So you can, you can put that. Um, in the actual, you know, from your whatever you created. So I'm just going to drag and drop the text inside the company vision, click approve, and then you can talk about more about it. So we help our users by doing what is the main objective and, and immediate purpose of the company? What is it that you do? Sell whiskey subscriptions. And I'm, I'm not going to go into detail because you guys can do it yourself in with your own brands. Approve. I can talk about the core values. So I can add the values as you can see there. I can type text, but I'm just going to leave it. Click approve. And then voila, now it's going to start to process the brand book and actually make it live into a PDF form. And then once you activate it, then you can send it off to your clients. So let's see what it's going to do. When it comes to this page, it's going to ask you to select a different layout or type of template, which is going to use for overall. So you can see I can select this template. I've got a simple one here. So you can see some of the things, the templates that it will do. So I like sort of the first or second template because it's very minimal. So I'm just going to go with the first template. As you can see there, you can actually up upload your own custom cover as well. So if I want to go ahead and upload a cover and click approve, it should make the changes and boom, there we go. We've got our craft whiskey brand book package and what you can do you can actually grab this page and pull it like this if you want which i like that animation that's nice and then what i can do is just you can see it's got all the contents there and i can go through the brand book so you can see it starts to generate this text for you and input your brand name it puts your markups vision mission core values as we did before the logo some of the mockups there clear space minimum size logo misuse, color palette. So I'm loving how it's creating all these for you really simply. It's got the font there, which is lovely. Got the secondary fonts that I just uploaded as well. And then it's got your sort of buy at the end, the brand book designer, boom. And then it's got your personal logo, which I love how it does that. And then the company logo there. Boom. Super easy. So simple. And all you really have to do to send it to your clients is that you can actually just click share down the bottom and share it. It's going to ask you to promote this brand book um, to make it official. And then you can actually just click yes. 
and you can copy a link or send an invite to an email. So you can type a client's email in there and then send an invite. But I like to copy the link and you can actually paste it. So if I just paste it to my browser, you can see what happens. It should load it up. Boom, pretty fast, pretty good. And you can see the client can just view it. And the client can also, you know, change the title or edit it um, in this little section and, and, and approve, approve it. So I think it's super neat, super handy. I'm just gonna go back. You can also download the full package. And I love having access to the files because I can go edit it later on or have it as a backup for my clients. So you can download that full package. It should install into my computer. And you can see I should get a zippy folder up with the, the name and the number. Once I open that, you can see it's got all the logos and things we uploaded there. It's got the PDFs, got the icons, as you can see, logos and the values. And it's also got the PDF spread, so you can double click. And if I just drag my PDF, you can see it's got the PDF spread there, which I love, I love always having a PDF. And boom, and that's our brand book done. That's how you use Junior Source, and I hope you use it for your brand books. And also, there is a discount code in the description below. You can actually get 10% off in Ginger Source. So, with using my code GingerJeremy10. So, definitely check that out and get a special. So, thanks for checking it out, and I'll talk to you soon.